Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. So today we're here to talk about O'Neill's Dual Sport Helmet. This particular helmet is probably about six years old. I've put quite a bit of miles on it, quite a bit of use. I don't know if you can tell by the dirt and grime on the lip. So you got a front vent that you can open and close. The visor up front has like a lock-in feature where it kind of like pops in and kinds of snaps in and kind of seals it all the way around. I'm trying to do it with one hand. It is not good. Okay, there we go. The visor hasn't... It, it hasn't worked loose or anything, and it's holding up. You got this lever back here for the sunshade. So you're, here again, trying to do one-handed. There you go. This is a budget show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so here you got your sun screen. It's, it's not scratched or anything. And you can see this is, you know, it's got bug debris and stuff on it. As I haven't cleaned this helmet in a while, you can see there's dead bugs on it and stuff. Um, don't mind this wire. I have an intercom system that I put in it. It didn't come with it. I put it in there, but the bracket that hold the uh, device broke off, and I haven't figured a way to put it back on there. But I. I think I do. I think I know how I'm gonna do it. But I put speakers in it, and it's got a microphone, and it worked real good. But anyway, I made a video on that a year ago or so, or during COVID, I, I think. This one is a extra large because I got a big head. I put the that KTM uh, sticker is 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 something I bought and I put on there because I ride a KTM uh, Super Adventure and this particular helmet I, I couldn't find one exactly so I'm gonna put a link in there from um, Amazon I believe it's 138 so very reasonable and I believe this is a premium helmet it might not be the lightest uh, I think I the one that has a link is polycarbonate or something like that. You had to look at the link. Uh, it claims to be lightweight, and all that other stuff, but you know, uh, look for yourself. But it's it's held up quite well, and you may be able to see how dirty it it is on the inside. Let me put the flashlight on it. So there you go you can see how it holds up and, and the different colors stuff now this one I believe has the standard D ring yeah yeah it's got this it's got the standard D ring but it does and and it just snaps in place you know um, and there's the microphone that I put in there. Very easy to install if you ever want to. And these cushions, they come out. You you snap them off. You throw them in the... You, I wash them by hand because I don't trust a washing machine with this stuff. And But all this stuff comes out. And you can wash it. And you see how dirty it is from all the sweat from my helmet. I mean, from when I'm riding it during the summertime. It gets pretty damn hot down here in Texas. So anyway, this is this helmet is six years old, at least six years. I've had it for a long time. Uh, it's seen a lot of use. Uh, it's as you can see, there's no scratches or nothing on it. I'm just now noticing that. Nothing. Good solid helmet for the price, one forty three. Uh, this one I can recommend. That other one that I made a video on, the One Storm, I just bought it on a whim. I'm not even sure if I can. It's a good helmet, it, it, you know, for a $70, $70 helmet. But now that I've had experience with, 
you know, I I know this brand. I use Bell. There's a Bell helmet a helmet back there. I'll, I'll make a video on that one. That one is like over ten years old. Every time I point, it goes out of focus. It's funny. Um. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.